Hi, good morning reception. I'm just going to go over the work that I've sent you for this week and I'm going to start with the math. So I've sent you, uh, one of the activities that I've sent you is matching amounts to numerals. Um, in the pack that I've sent out, um, I think you've got pictures of birds. So I'm just going to model how I'd like you to do that. I'm going to be using smaller numbers. So you can either choose to um, draw out your um, amounts um, or you can use objects. I'm going to model both. Um, I'm going to model both to show you how I'd like you to do it. Okay, so if you've drawn, what you can do to make sure that you've counted accurately, I would like you to um, cross off each um, object or item that you've drawn. Okay, so let's start. So when we start, we start counting at one. Okay, you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I'm going to keep eight in my head. If I'm not sure how to write the number eight, what I can do is use my number line to find the number eight. So I'm going to count along until I reach number eight. So I'm going to start at zero and then count from one. And when I go to one, that's when I start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there's my number eight, which reminds me exactly how I need to write it. So I can write my number eight next to the amount. Okay. If you are using um, objects to practice with, I know I've sent you uh, the pictures of birds, but you can practice with objects as well at home. It's always best to move the objects so that we know that we've counted them. Okay, so I'm going to move my pegs along here to know that I've counted them. So here we go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I know that I've counted all of those. And the last number that I got to is the amount that I have. So again, if I'm not sure how to write uh, number five, I'm going to use my number line to count along. Your number line is longer than mine that I've sent you. It goes up to 20. So you'll be able to work with slightly bigger numbers if you feel confident to. One, two, three, four, five, and there's my number five. Okay, so I'm going to write my number five here. Okay, so um, that's the first activity that we, um, I've asked you to do. The other activity is adding two amounts together and again you can use objects or you can draw these on your uh, on paper or board or whatever it is you're using at home so um, I have got two piles of pegs here so I'm going to put these together okay so I've got my one pile let's put them up here got another pile over here okay so I'm going to add them all together to find out how many I've got <clears throat> when you're doing this exercise I'd like to use numbers that are single digits so less than 10 okay so first of all I'm going to count my um, my amounts so I'm going to count how many I've got here because this is going to practice matching your amounts to your uh, num numeral so here we go one two three I'll write my number three under here. On this side, I've got one, two. I'll write my numeral here. So let's find out how many we've got when we add them, and we how many do we have all together? Okay. So let's find out. We know that we've got three here. Here's my number three. One, two, three. I can count on from my number three. Three, four five. So I did all together I have got five pegs and I can always check one two three four five. Okay I'm not so worried about you writing out a number sentence but I would like you to match the amounts to your numerals and use the words all together and total when you are adding your amounts and of course the word add. I hope that helps. Uh, practice that with objects or drawing as much as you like. Okay, so that's my uh, numeracy. Um, we are 
beginning this week and probably while we, when we come back to school well actually yes when we come back to school we'll be doing this book too so um it's a really lovely story about a family birthday party um and a, a family getting together having fun and sharing lots and lots of love on their little baby so um, we're going to be thinking quite a lot about family celebrations um, starting this week with the work that you're doing at home and continuing that on um, when you come back to school. So um, one of the activities that I would like you to do is to think about a, um, a time maybe when all of your family come together. It might be on a Sunday afternoon, it might be for a, a celebration or it might be just when you hook up generally. Um, and have a think who's in your family, who comes along, um, what do you like to do, what are your family like um, and you could do a draw a picture of them all together if you want to write or, or talk about it as well that's brilliant so that's one of your first activities okay the other activity is, is kind of similar but this is actually I want you to have a good old think um, and have think back and if, have you got a special memory that you have that you share with your family so it could be an everyday thing it might be watching a movie with your family maybe you have popcorn on a friday night and it's your favorite part of the week it might be uh, a trip out to the park it might be a holiday um anything that you like but something that for some reason is special that you really remember and just have a little think and do you think all families like to do things like this um um just have a think about what it is. You can draw again, draw a picture, talk about it and write about it as well if you'd like to. Okay, so your literacy um, <clears throat> activity this week is to, um, to think about if you are having a celebration at home, which family and friends would you like to invite? And I have made a template or you can just make one at home that has some lines on it, I think, like this. And on these lines, I would like you to think about who you would like to invite and write down who it is, okay? So um, it might be that you want to invite mum, so you need to work out using your phonics that you know. Mm, uh, mm. And then on the next one, you might want to say dad or um, your family member's name. You might need a little bit of help um, spelling um, names, that's absolutely fine. So I'd like you to create a list of who you're going to invite to your celebratory party. The last activity that I'd like you to do is to create a, um, uh, a celebratory food plate. So have a think about the things that you might like to eat at a special celebration. And then once you've done that, you can either, I'm going to just draw a very quick plate here. Okay, so here's my plate of food. Okay, here it is. You can use a paper plate, you can draw one, it's up to you. And then on your plate, you might want to think, hmm, what would I really like to eat? And I thought I would like, hmm, I'd really like to eat some pizza if I had a celebratory uh, meal. And I might like to have some carrot sticks with it. Okay, so once you've put all of your food on here, uh, you can cut out and draw like I've done. You can draw it, you can paint it. I don't mind how you do it. You can make it out of salt dough, play-doh. It's up to you. But I would really like you to have a go at uh, labelling your food. So for here, I would write the word pizza. So p i z a pizza P -i -z -a, pizza here we've got some carrots so i would write the word carrot K -a -r -o -t. carrot K -a -r -o -t. carrot okay so make your plate and then you might want to make some little cards or just write a list of the food that's on your plate. So I hope that explains um, the work 
for this week. Thank you so much to all the lovely photographs that children have sent me, that you've sent me. It's really lovely to see that you're keeping up the work and that you're having fun. And I really look forward to seeing you next week. But I'll see you tomorrow for um, Tuesday Phonics. Okay, bye.